best sales force on the planet, arrives at the goal, and then upgrades it and locks it into a decision. What's the difference? Well, the difference is a goal leaves open, leaves the door open for the possibility of not. Whereas a decision doesn't. Can you get what it means to actually decide that you're going to do something without knowing how? He didn't have the question. How am I going to do that? He simply moved in the direction of, and he's crawling across, and I'm watching the game, and I'm paying attention to him. He comes over here. He's starting to make some baby noises. And I'm like, what, dude? What do you want? What? Oh, here. You want these? All right, there you go. Right now, in this moment, you have infinite access to bliss. You have, access, you have equal access to pure suffering it, or neutral, everything in between. And whatever you're experiencing is only because of one thing, and it's how you're thinking in this moment. Goals are for people who lack the courage to make decisions. Bold statement. There's no time for that. When you are in the knowing, deciding state, there isn't any room for you to bring into your mind the possibility of, of not, or the awareness of what could go wrong. It's not, it's just not, there's, it can't be there. When you are in the absolute, and you all, every one of us has multiple examples. If we really think back to our lives, we have examples of, of times in our lives where we've made these all in totally knowing, infinitely committed decisions. And please remember them frequently, because that is a state that you want to imitate. You, hell, you want to live in that state. Think about your own best performances of your life, no matter what, it, it doesn't matter, athletics, business, music, anything. Think about your best evers, your career performances, those isolated moments, those events where you were crushing it, and think about your state. And this is important. This is an important point to really embrace, that I'm responsible for every thought that, that ever travels through my mind. I'm, inf I'm totally, solely responsible for every thought, like the evil ones, the dark ones, I create them. The amazing ones, the powerful ones, the ones that serve me, I create them. The neutral ones, I create them. I create them all. Not necessarily on purpose, and that's what we're talking about here, is about conditioning your mind, strengthening the way that you use your mind, so that you will only choose to create thoughts that actually serve you. Most people go through their entire lives never establishing clarity on what is exactly, what profound thing it is that you want to create. So, I mean, how, how do you know? How do you know that you're the best? Just how do we know yeah, I mean, that? It, it, yeah. Can you prove it to me? I mean, it's, it's, it's another great question. No. Um, <laughs> right, you use the word discipline a lot. These are disciplines. These are practices. Mental toughness comes from working out, from working out your mind, from strengthening and conditioning the way that you use your brain. Let's get comfortable. This is what mental toughness is about. It's about getting really comfortable, stepping confidently, into your own brilliance. I don't know if you've ever been in a room with 1,500 people where there's one thought. That's a big deal. Hmm. Like, that's some intense energy. Congratulations. Thank you.